Yo, what's good? Welcome back to Ride Razor. My name is Austin, and today we are here for yet another how to. In today's video, we're going to be teaching you guys how to do a full whip. Let's talk about what you guys need to know ahead of time before learning how to full whip. Number one, you need to know how to tail whip. Number two, you need to know how to do a bar spin. So a full whip is essentially a tail whip and a bar spin at the exact same time. So you kick the tail whip out, you throw a bar spin, the bar and the deck spin in the same direction, the same motion. So if you kick a tail whip out clockwise, the bar's gonna spin clockwise. If you kick your tail whip out counterclockwise, the bar's gonna spin counterclockwise. Alrighty, so now that we know what the trick is, let's talk about how to do the trick. All right, so step number one, you guys are gonna want to approach whatever obstacle you guys are riding compress just like you normally would for a tail whip and pretty much throw the tail whip. As soon as that tail whip leaves your feet, you're gonna want to do a bar spin. And I'm gonna tell you right now, this trick is rinse and repeat. The motion for a full whip, the tail whip and the bar spin at the exact same time is something that you guys should have mastered on the ground before taking it to the air. And you dial in that motion, the easier landing the actual trick will be. So once again, approach the ramp, throw a tail whip. As soon as the tail whip leaves your feet, you're gonna to wanna to do a bar spin as well, getting the bars back under your hands, the deck back under your feet and rolling away. So a couple quick tips when it comes to doing full whips. Uh, I highly recommend you guys try your best to keep the scooter as close to you as possible. In the beginning, when you start throwing that bar spin, you're gonna have the habit keeping the scooter pretty far away from you because you don't wanna get hit by the bar, which is completely normal. However, if you leave the scooter all the way out here, you're gonna have a really hard time getting it back under your feet. So I recommend trying to keep it nice and close to you. Another quick thing that I would look out for is trying your best to throw the tail whip as fast as possible. So that's why I recommend being really good at tail whips because the quicker you throw the tail whip, the quicker you can throw the bar spin, the quicker it gets back under your feet and you guys can roll away. The last thing I wanna note is a full whip is a fairly intermediate trick. It's definitely not a beginner trick. You should definitely dial in your bar spins and your tail whips before learning a full whip. And once again, practice makes perfect. Just dial that motion in on the ground before trying it in the air, and I promise it's gonna make your life 10 times easier. All right, so now that we know how to do a full whip, let's talk about where to do a full whip. So honestly, personal preference. Um, if you guys are a fan of this channel, pretty much every flyout trick, I highly recommend a nice bank like we have behind me, or a nice quarter that you guys feel comfortable airing out of. You just wanna make sure you're getting a good amount of air time, but you're also not flying out of this ramp, leaning backwards. It's, it's gotta be a ramp that you guys feel fairly comfortable airing straight out of and landing all your favorite fly out tricks. So go to your local skate park, go to your friend's house that has a ramp and just pretty much find anything that you guys are comfortable airing out of. Alrighty, so now that we know how to do the trick and where to do the trick, I called in my good friend Mia to show you guys a few. Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for having me. So what's good, you got this? Oh, absolutely. Full whips locked in? Locked in. Oh, here's your scooter, let's see a few. Thank you. Let's get it. 